Hey guys, how y'all doing? Um, we are up near Boca Reservoir. It's about 5,800 feet on the east side of the Crest of the Sierras. We got a nice moist mountain meadow, some sagebrush surrounding it. So I just wanted to show you some cool things that are over here. Uh, first of all, we have a Lithophragma species that is a woodland star. And you can see these um, these flower buds right here. That makes me think this is the bulbous uh, woodland star, which I believe is Lithophragma glabrum. Um, nice dissected petals there, very pointy. It's kind of unique for them. And then back here, we have woolen breeches, which is a hydrophyllum. It gets these beautiful purple flowers below its leaves. As opposed to the uh, hydrophyllum, we have at lower elevations, which sticks its flower stalk up. And then, this is a pretty cool one, we have Brown's Peony. That's Peonia brownii. It's our only native peony. And you can see there's the, uh, the ovaries developing. It's gonna set seeds soon. It's a beautiful little plant. And uh, what do we got here? This is antelope brush. It's not, oh, that's just starting to flower. There's a few flowers open on there. That's Persia tridentata. And another with the species name tridentata. This is Artemisia tridentata, the California sagebrush. Let's see, there's more of that water leaf. And let's move on down. Got a few Yampa. It's a carrot family. I don't really know the Yampas apart. Here's a better look at the uh, flowers of the antelope brush there. They're really nice. Oh, here's another peony. This one's kind of beat up. We got our Jeffrey Pines at this elevation. Let's see, three needles. It's the pine cones down there. Kind of, kind of big compared to the Ponderosa at lower elevations. Let's go walk down to the edge of this meadow real quick. Oh, these are not flowering yet, but those are elk thistle. They grow just basally um, along the ground there. They don't send up a flower stalk like most thistles do. Let's see what we got in here. We have a little colony of larkspurs. Don't know my larkspurs really, but let's get a good look at those flowers. Beautiful flower tube coming off the back. I love how they look. And here's a, a buttercup of some kind. I don't know what kind of buttercup that is. Oh, check this out. We have a Kamas lily. Kamasia, you know, I don't know the species name actually. Let's see, that's about, flowers look like they're maybe 
an inch and a half long. That makes me think it's the small Camasia, but not 100% sure on that. You can see there's several more in this meadow dotting over there. I don't know what this little white flower is. Um, maybe a Montia of some sort. Growing on the edge of this wet area. Groundsel. I think it's a groundsel. Asteraceae. See all that buttercup? There's a gall on this sagebrush right here. Oh, and it's like a sponge. I think it's called the sagebrush sponge gall, but I don't really remember the species name. And then we got a little, little tiny, few flowered blue eyed Mary, one of the Calencia species. Very, very, very tiny flowers. Oh, the smell coming off those antelope brush here. It's just intoxicating. See those uh, woolly mules ears back there? The yellow flowers, that's Wyethia mollis. Pretty common at this elevation. It's just a gorgeous plant though. Big aster family, composite flowers. Almost white woolly leaves. Pretty tall compared to most of the wildflowers around here. Got Ashley and Camus with me today. We have, yeah. We got a juniper. I don't know which one it would be on this side. Maybe the Sierra juniper, maybe the um, Utah juniper, but here, we'll do a close up so I can tell later, and I'll write it below. I don't know my junipers too well, but I'm pretty sure that's the Sierra. Look at that shaggy bark. Uh, 
another beautiful example of the water leaf. Just love that color. Love that growth habit too. A lot more kamas lily down there, but I'm gonna try to avoid walking in the meadow. You guys saw it once already. Try to protect that habitat. It's a gorgeous view though. Oh, will you look at that? Got a fertility. Is that the brown bells fertility? I don't know if it occurs this high in elevation. Sure looks like it though. Pretty cool plant in the lily family. Got a nice larkspur patch there. Okay, cut off there for some reason, but um, I'm just going to show you this again. Got ball head sand root, sand, sand wart rather, and then, oh look at this, more spongy galls. They feel really gross in your hands. I thought it was a mushroom at first. And then over here, here are the basil leaves. And then there's one little flower in bloom. Oh, you know what? This might be something different. I think that is something different. <laughs> well, anyway, this is the basil leaves of Hooker's balsam root which is balsamariza, hooker eye. That's a nice little patch of lemons, onions, oh, here's something. This is the seed pod of the yellow fritillary. Yellow fritillary seed pod, so I guess we're late to see any of those going off. All right, well, that's probably good for now. If I see anything super special, I'll punch back in. But uh, just wanted to show off some of the things that are flowering here at 5,800 feet near Boca Reservoir, east side of the Sierras.